Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Lockheed Martin, a renowned aerospace and defense company, has recently clinched a substantial contract worth $451 million from the U.S. Army. The contract aims at upgrading additional M270 missile launchers, a move announced on May 8, 2024, from Dallas. This significant agreement is strategically designed to bolster the operational capabilities of the United States allies, thereby fortifying international defense partnerships. The contract builds upon an ongoing effort initiated back in 2019, marked by an initial agreement, with subsequent contracts focusing on ensuring the operational readiness and longevity of these crucial systems through 2050. The upgrades are integral to a broader strategy aimed at maintaining the efficacy and interoperability of the M270 launchers with NATO forces for years to come. Jay Price, Lockheed Martin's vice president of Precision Fires, underscored the significance of these enhancements, stating, The modernization will not only enhance the launcher's capabilities but will also ensure that the M270 series remains a highly effective and reliable platform in coalition operations. The recapitalization process encompasses a comprehensive overhaul of the systems, including the installation of new engines, enhanced armored cabs, and integration of the state-of-the-art Common Fire Control System, CFCS. The CFCS is specifically engineered to ensure seamless compatibility with both current and future munitions of the MLRS family of munitions, MFOM. Notably, the modernized M270A2 launchers, alongside HIMARS systems, will stand as the sole platforms capable of deploying Lockheed Martin's extended-range GMLRS and the Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, further amplifying their operational versatility and efficacy. Originating from the United States, the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, developed by Lingtemkovat and manufactured by several companies including Lockheed Martin, has been a stalwart presence since its induction into service in 1983. It has played pivotal roles in numerous conflicts worldwide, including the Gulf War, the War in Afghanistan, and the Iraq War, underscoring its enduring relevance and effectiveness in modern warfare scenarios. Distinguished by its remarkable capacity to launch 12 MLRS rockets or two Army Tactical Missile System ATACMS, missiles or four PRSM precision missiles, the M270 boasts a robust chassis featuring an aluminum hull and reinforced cab, ensuring optimal protection. Powered by a Cummins VTA a 903 diesel engine, delivering up to 600 horsepower depending on the variant, the system can attain a maximum speed of 64.4 km per hour and operate within a range of 483 km, thereby offering exceptional mobility and agility on the battlefield. The system's evolution has seen the emergence of variants such as the M270A1 and M270A2, characterized by enhancements in engine power and munitions capabilities. With the ability to engage targets at distances of up to 300 km with Atticum's munitions and up to 92 km with M30-31 GMLRS rockets, the M270 stands as a testament to its versatility and potency as a formidable artillery system in contemporary military arsenals. Aligned with the United States' overarching objective of fostering interoperability with its allies and extending the lifespan of its military equipment, this latest contract awarded to Lockheed Martin represents a significant stride forward. By bolstering the capabilities of the M270, a widely deployed MLRS platform, this endeavor augurs well for all stakeholders involved, reinforcing the collective defense posture and security architecture of allied nations around the globe. That's all for now, see you later.